As you can see, it's uh, vegetation is quite interesting. Just the layout, it's almost pygmy forest. You can see the uh, our serpentine fern is coming back, and I can smell a dead something in the air like a something, some dead animals rotting somewhere nearby. I mean, we might, might come across that. But uh, yeah, I vaguely remember this somewhere down here. We'll walk through and hopefully we'll get to the boulders. But as you can see, it's uh, very low scrub here with a sort of semi eucalyptus overstory. But uh, yeah, and there'll be CPs growing through here. Um, well, from now on, they'll start to come. You know, one after the other they'll come into their, uh, their peak which is the best time to photograph them and especially before um, the rain comes and washes the first dew off of them that's when they look their best just with their fresh dew on before any rain washes it off but, You can see it's sort of like it's a clay silt sort of thing. But there'll be uh, witty grass growing through this uh, later on, in and out another fall. They're usually about two weeks behind the uh, prey foliars sort of thing. The best time to photograph uh, witty grass is usually like, uh, you know, um, early June sort of thing. Uh, not quite the third week of June, a bit earlier than that usually. And most of the other things go by the third week of the month sort of thing. But with the wheat grass it's slightly a bit earlier usually. Bit of pooling of water there. Nice uh, mossy apron here. Always good to look out, you never know, you might find a U-trick growing in something like that someday. So always look out for that. But, uh, I think we'll go on, I think. I'm not sure whether I should go down there or across there. Maybe both. 